Hello beautiful people of the world and welcome to a new PD tutorial. In this video we're going to learn how to use the make note object. The make note object is necessary when we want to use synthesizers instead of drum machines. Why we need it? Well because every note has its own specific duration and with the note out object we cannot specify a note duration. So basically we have to create uh, a note off message after we created the note on message to tell our synthesizer to stop playing that specific note. So first of all, let's create the make note object. Okay, as you can see, make note has three inlets and the first one on the left is for the MIDI note value. The center one is for the velocity value and the third one on the right is for the duration of the note that is going to create in milliseconds. So if we open up the help file, we can see that the three inputs are exactly this. The node number, velocity value, and duration in milliseconds. You can use creation arguments if you want, but of course this is not really flexible if you want to play dynamic music parts. So we already have the patch that we were creating on the last tutorial and we have the MIDI note value, this time we use a slider for it. And we have the velocity slider, of course. And then we need a third object to set the duration in milliseconds. So we can use, for instance, a number atom. Now we can limit the range of the number atom between two uh, values so that we do not go to negative values or to zero or we do not exceed too much, we don't create notes that are exceedingly long. So we right click on the object and we click on properties and we can use say 100 for the lower part and 2000 for the upper part. Now remember this, these are milliseconds, so this is 100 milliseconds, this is the least value, the, the shortest value that the node can, uh, can be, and this is 2000 milliseconds, so it's two seconds of duration. So we click OK, and then we can make the connections. So again, the first one is for the node value, second one is for velocity value, and the third one is for duration in milliseconds. And now about the outputs. The outputs are the MIDI node value, so we can connect this to the input of the node out object. So this is again the node number value. And this is the velocity value. So what's the point of having the make note object if we still have to use the note out object and we have to connect the MIDI note value and the velocity value to the corresponding inlets of the note out object? As I said before, the make note object is going to create the note off message after the specified duration for every single note on message that it creates. So for every single node that we generate with our patch, it's going to, to create two messages, the node on and the node off for the corresponding node. Of course, we have to set our MIDI channel for transmission, and we can now set a duration value, let's say 1000. And for this video, I'm going to use the Neutron from Behringer, so the natural from Behringer, it doesn't receive uh, velocity values. So any velocity value is going to be, you know, the same. The, the note that's going to be played by the, the neutron is the same amplitude. So every value different from zero is going to do the trick. And of course, I'm going to choose one single MIDI note. Okay, of course, we have our trigger object to trigger first the duration of the note. And again, this is a millisecond. Then we have to trigger the velocity value. And then finally, we can trigger the node, the MIDI node value, so we can actually create the node and send it out to our MIDI interface to which we have connected our synthesizer. So let's test it out.
So that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you have questions, you can write down in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.